Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada modal element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. The modal element can be used to display additional content on your site via a pop-up window on a page. Modal boxes are hidden by default and can only be triggered by a menu item, a button element, or a modal text HTML link element, which can be either text or an image. Any of our other elements can be used inside it, so you can organize your modal content as you like. For more complex situations or design, there is the Avada Off Canvas Builder. See the Off Canvas documentation link below for more information on that great tool. But for now, let's look at an example of the modal element on the Avada Law Prebuilt. A little way down the page is a button here called Ask an Expert, and you can see there is a modal element placed directly underneath it. The button triggers the modal, and the modal element holds the content. Let's look at the button first. If I edit the button, we can see there is no button URL link at the top, but right down the bottom here under modal window anchor, there is the word expert. This has to match the name of a modal element on the same page for this to work. So that's all that's needed for the button. Let's look at the modal element beneath it. I'll just edit that, and as soon as I do, the modal itself pops up on the screen and the element options open in the sidebar. As we can see from the modal, the content is a contact form with a couple of images and some text. Let's look at the options. The first option is name of modal, and as we can see here, it matches the modal window anchor entered in the button element. The next option, modal heading, is straightforward and shows at the top of the modal itself. After this is size of modal. There are two choices here, small or large. This is a large modal. The modal will also grow in size depending on the content. The next option, Background color controls the entire background of the modal, including the title and close area. This one is white. The border color option controls the border that separates the header and footer area of the modal. The next option, show footer, is turned on in this case, and just adds another way to close the modal apart from the X in the header area. Finally is the contents of modal option, and here the content can be as simple or as complex as you like. This area has a full editor, and so takes both HTML and Avada elements via the Avada Builder Element Generator. But to create content like this, it's easiest to just create your content on a blank page, and using the right click functionality, copy the content and paste it across to the editor here. If you just want your content to be in one column, you only need to copy and paste the elements you want. But if you want a more advanced layout like this one, you need to create your content in nested columns as the containing modal is already in a column. I'll just illustrate how to do this. On my blank page here, I need a column to place my nested columns into, so I'll add a container with a full width column. Now I can add an element, and I'll add a nested column element. I'll choose two fifths, three fifths. In the first column, I'll just add my content. I need to add an image element, and it's this image here I need. I'll just go to the Design tab, and add a 35 pixel bottom margin. Then I want another image for the logo. I'll just add that here. And again, I'll just add a small bottom margin. Finally, I'll add a text block element, and I'll just paste this text in here. OK, for the other column, I just need to add a Nevada form element in here, and select a form. So now I just need to close this nested column, and now I can right click on it and choose Copy thereby just copying the nested column code and leaving the containing column and container. So now if I go back to my page, I'll just select and delete the content from the modal and right click and paste the code in that I have on the clipboard. And there's the modal content. OK, moving back to the options, the last two are the CSS class and CSS ID options for customizing the element further with custom CSS. And in this case, I don't need to use either of those. As mentioned at the start of the video, the modal element can also be triggered from a menu item using the modal window anchor option found in the Avada menu options of each menu item, and also via the modal text HTML element. Please see the separate video linked below on how to use that element. And don't forget to check out the Off Canvas Builder. It offers more advanced functionality and can be used for pop-ups and sliding bars across your whole site in many different ways. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, 
We want to thank you for choosing Nevada.